guys and welcome to this week's video here in sunny France. So I'm back here in the vegetable garden and what I need to do is remove these old purple sprouting broccolis uh, that have flowered and we've left them flower for the bees but they've now finished. I need to dig them up so I can get some compost onto the ground and then I can get planting with some new plants. amazing about purple sprouting broccoli is you plant a seed you have a tiny plant like this and then it grows and grows gets bigger and then you end up having a massive plant at the end of it with loads of broccoli and I just find it amazing how something so small then becomes something so big so as you can see I've put the compost on this patch here and this was the only patch that I didn't have any compost on and I've got these big posts that I used for stabilizers for my tomato plants last year and I'm hoping that I can kind of try and reuse them again this year so I'm going to sort of measure out where they're going to go dig the holes stick them in and uh, hopefully what will happen is you'll have a wire running along that and the tomato plants will grow up these ropes so I'm hoping they'll be okay from last year um, but it means digging lots of holes There we are, I've got all of the supports in for my tomatoes. My tomatoes are in the greenhouse, they're not quite ready to be planted out yet. But I wanted to make sure I knew exactly where the tomatoes were going. So I knew what space I had left to grow sweet corn and pumpkin and things like that. So the next thing is now I can start planting the sweet corn and the pumpkin in this area. And this is all ready for the tomatoes when they're ready to be planted out. So I haven't video everything that I've done here in the vegetable patch, but what I did want to do is just walk you around so to see everything that's growing and that we've planted and everything else. I've planted some of the stuff you've seen that I've planted uh, in last week's video, but I just want to show you how it's grown because we've had a lot of sun, as you can see today, and obviously I've been watering them as well. So let's have a quick little tour around the vegetable patch. So the only thing I haven't planted out yet is my tomatoes and they're basically acclimatizing here and once I acclimatize them for a few more days then I can get them planted out. In the greenhouse as you can see we've got lots of lettuces that we still need to eat, big lettuces. Um, I've got some spare spur purple sprouting broccoli uh, just in the corner there and then we've got my chilies that I've now got into the ground. Sorry, I say chilies, they're peppers. The ones with the sticks are peppers. The chilies themselves are here. So I'm still waiting for them to grow a little bit bigger. And I'm also gonna put the chilies in the greenhouse because they do grow better in the greenhouse. 
but I, what I'm hoping to do is try and eat some more lettuce so that I can actually have some space for them. When we look round here, we've got some fantastic radishes. And if I get down here, you can see that they are absolutely perfect. So if anything, probably a bit too big. Uh, but we, I'm going to pick some of them now and I'll have them for my aperos with a beer later on. And we've also got some heritage ones here. And as you can see, if I pick that one, that's probably about right. But it's a different, different shape. And we've also got ones that are a different colour. So if I pick that one, you can see that's a white one. So really happy with the radishes. The only thing with the radishes is that we have to grow and eat them pretty quickly because otherwise it gets too hot and then they die. So a few weeks ago, I put up these stands. And as you can see, I don't know what to call these, but as you can see, they're already growing. So these are the runner beans and they're growing absolutely fantastic all the way around and starting to actually climb up the pole as well. Then we've got peas next to them, which again are doing really well um, and starting to climb. We've got our rocket, which is now rocketing up and probably getting a bit too big and we need to pick some and start eating them before it kind of goes too close to seed. We've got some lettuces that are growing outside. And again, these only a couple of weeks ago, get out my shadow, only a couple of weeks ago, they were about this size and now they're this size. So hopefully we'll have lots of uh, lettuces. And then if I keep moving down, we've got, these are green beans and they're again doing really well, need a bit more time. Then on the other side, we've got Col Rabe. Now we've planted these a while ago but unfortunately, they just haven't really grown. If I kind of get down here, it doesn't look like there's any much of a bulb at the bottom of them. So we're not sure if it's all, all show and no actual substance, but we'll give them a bit, keep them going for a bit longer and see how they get going. And we've got two sweet corn. So we've got two sweet corn that were very kindly given to us by our neighbor, Laura and Mel and we've also planted some in this ground as well so hopefully they'll come up and in between the sweet corn we've got pumpkins and butternut squash so they'll grow along the ground and then hopefully the sweet corn will grow up it on the other side we've got some aubergines so again they're all doing well we've got some beetroot that are starting to grow along here and we've got another row of beetroot here that are sort of late succession and in between here in the actual toilet rolls are carrots so hopefully they'll do well they again take a while to kind of get going but we've planted them in and in between as you can see i've got more lettuces i've put lettuces everywhere in the uh, vegetable patch because they sort of fit in and we do eat a lot of it throughout the the summer then we've also got here, we've got the celeriac. So these are all celeriac plants, which will be ready in the winter and they're absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got, come down, we've got some nasturtiums that are sort of growing as ground cover. And if you can see very faintly, so there's one there and there's another one here and another one there. There are onions and we've also got some leeks but it's actually quite difficult to tell the difference between the two, but we've got them there as well. Then we've got a row of chard here and a row of chard, whoop, and a row of chard there. Um, but again, they're not quite ready to be eaten at the moment. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, keep an eye on them. And then obviously we've got our garlics at the end of this vegetable patch. And then on the end of this one, we've got some cucumbers and also courgettes. We have a couple of lettuces in between. We've got some strawberries here that are just starting to grow. So if I, there we are. So there are some strawberries there, but they haven't quite gone red. He says that, and there's actually a little, a reddish one down there, not quite red enough. So I'll keep that there for the moment. And then obviously, as you can see, all of my tomato holders are all there ready and waiting to be put up when we get the tomatoes all done. So that's our vegetable patch. So that's our vegetable patch. And all we've got to do now is hope that they all grow nice and strong and we get lots of food. 
for the summer. Obviously, I'm going to keep watering them. I do have a watering system, so in a couple of weeks' time, um, when I get a chance, I'm going to put in a watering system. So keep an eye out for that video. Uh, that'll probably be in a couple of weeks once uh, I get some time to actually lay it down. But I need to do it soon because at the moment I'm just using the hose. And what I do have is a well and a pump. So I much prefer having the watering system that uses the pump or the well water to water the vegetable garden. So I will have to do that soon. But uh, that's it for the vegetable patch. Now there's one other thing I'm going to show you. So this is our herb spiral that is predominantly being taken over by sage at the moment. But we've got some chive there, thyme, we've got some basil that we've planted in, and we've also got some borage. But there's a video of how I made that, and I'll put a link on the screen for you. But also down here, which is what I really wanted to show you, is a banana plant that I put in. I thought it had died and because of the frost and look at that it's growing really strong so that seems to grow inches every week so i'm looking forward to seeing that being really really big and uh, whether we get bananas on it is probably a different subject but i'll keep you updated i'll quickly zoom around the garden just so you can see it's looking really really nice i've done the strimming which is why it's a bit messy but I now need to mow the lawn. So I'm back down at the swimming pool area and I started flattening that last bit that was left. It's pretty much flat, but the next thing to do is to make sure that it's completely flat. So uh, I need to measure the whole way along and level out any issues. It's quite early in the morning. The birds are singing, the sun is shining. I'm hoping to try and get this done as soon as possible before it gets too hot down here and then I'll have to do something in the afternoon. I don't have much time uh, before my family arrive. I've got about a week and a half, so I need to get this pool up and running before they get here, otherwise they're gonna be very disappointed. So let's get going. <music> So I'm here on the pad ready for the swimming pool and I've been using this wiper really just to get the excess water off but also kind of level it and spread any of the sort of liquid mud in between the holes which should hopefully help level it as well and uh, obviously I've used the long piece of wood to get a good rough level across all of this uh, when I'm pretty happy with it now there's a few little bumps so I'm hoping when the swimming pool goes on it will kind of settle it all what I don't want to do is make sure there's any big angles and I've been wiping the excess water I've created a bit of a drainage so that I can try and get rid of some of this water obviously unfortunately we're on clay so kind of the water almost gets pushed up through the clay but also because we're on a hill it does sort of seep through the wall although I put drainage the other side of the wall and everything else it does still seep through so um there's constant water, I suppose, always coming coming through, which is a bit of a pain, but we have to deal with it and hopefully we can get this swimming pool up as soon as possible because it's getting hotter. And the one thing I need at the end of a hard day's work is to jump in the pool. So I've got to get this pool up. So it's all ready for the polystyrene panels to go down, but unfortunately I've had a call and it means I've got to go to work and I'm not going to have time to get it finished later today which means unfortunately you're not going to see the pool up this video. So hopefully next week I'm going to have it up. Well, I'm going to have to have it up because I need it up for my family. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified of future videos of when this pool will actually get built. And I'll see you next time. Have a good week. Cheers, guys. Bye.